January final score here. Corby Town 3, Harbour Town 4. I've said in my notes, Corby didn't, didn't deserve to lose that. Harbour didn't deserve to win it. But uh, that's exactly what's happened here this afternoon. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we deserve um, to lose the game by any stretch. Um, but, you know, Harbour have done their job. They've, 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 they've soaked up a load of pressure from us. You know, they had a great start. We gifted them a, I was it a 2-0 lead. Well, yeah, we gifted them a 2-0 lead. Um, two soft goals from our point of view. Um, then we've got back in, in the game. We played some really good stuff. The 20, the 20 minutes before halftime, the 25 minutes probably after halftime is probably as well as we've played here this year. Um, and with an 11 v 11, that looked like, you know, they was trying to see it out for the 3-2 and, we was pressing, had loads. We didn't create loads and loads of really open chances, but we had loads of good playing, got in loads of good areas. And they defended well. They're a good side. I've, I've said that repeatedly. I think they'll probably go on and win the league because, um, you know, that's good teams do what they've done today. They keep going and going and they've, they've, they've nicked that at the end. But I don't know if I can get in trouble by talking about decisions, but he's made some of the poorest decisions, you know, that not just today, the one at Ketchum, I just asked him if he'd seen the one at Ketchum. He said, yeah. And I said, well, that was that was not as bad as today's one. He's done Dan Wallace for coming off his line. I've never had that before in 700 games as a manager. All the penalties I've seen for and against. I've never, never, ever, ever, ever seen a retaken one for goalkeeper stepping off his line. Whether they do or not, I don't know. Obviously, I'm too far away. And then... The last one, he just can't wait to give it, Kenny. Ollie Rose has showed Jordan Crawford inside. Um, Jordan's, Jordan's done what good forwards do. He's looking for I just spoke to him then. He said, I'm looking for it. Ollie Rose made a great tackle, got the ball. We're then looking to get on the attack. That was not a delayed reaction. The referees then blew his whistle. I, I, couldn't, I, I, I couldn't fathom it. I couldn't get my head around it at first. And, you know, we've, we've gone from... We'd have been disappointed with the draw. You know, we'd, I think we'd have been disappointed with the draw, but that's just that's just where it is for us at the minute. And we just don't seem to get a lot of luck at the minute. Um, but taking the first twenty minutes away, I thought the players were first class. Um, I think Harbour are a really good side. Got lots and lots of experience. Got lots of pace. Um, and you know, I, I, obviously, I'll speak to some of their lads. I, I wouldn't have thought they'd have had too many harder games than that this season. Um, which they probably expected, but disappointing, disappointing, really disappointed. This curse continues here at Steel Park. It's got to finish. We, we've said it in our podcast. We've said it to fans. You know, the, the same. It's not the fact that we're playing bad football. We're not. We're, we look really, really good. Unfortunately, just as you say, can't get the rub of the green. And uh, there's some decisions gone against us. Really bad decisions um, by officials that you know would have been picked up if. Yeah, if things were different. As well, some... Yeah, that saying that, and I do credit the players when they deserve it, but we have put in some average performances as well where we didn't one here early on the season and, you know, sporadically. And that was my message to the players um, just then. I just said, look, you know, the best team in the league, in my opinion, um, we've just dominated the game for, for a period. You know, we shouldn't be losing the games that we've lost if we can do that to a team like like Harbour. Um I'm I'm just gutted, mate. Like I'm I'm so I'm so disappointed and you know, not not necessarily not with the result, because you know, like I say, Harbour Town have come, they've done their job, they've defended when we when we had good real good spells, they've defended well and they've look, still looked a little bit lively on the break. We was trying to make the pitch huge because obviously they especially when they went down to ten. And I'm not disappointed with the result. I'm disappointed with the manner of how I've got to pick the players up again now from something totally out of our control. We can control what we can control, but I can't as a manager and the players can't control that that decision at the end. It's just because that that's just the wrong decision. That's a poor decision. And you know, I ain't seen it. I, I you know if I'm if I'm wrong I'll come out and hold my hands up. But the players I spoke to Jordan. Um, I think the photographer's got a photo. Like he's clearly won the ball. That's just an awful decision, and they get away with it. Mm. He got away with it at Ketchum. He's got away with it tonight. He'll get away with it tonight. He'll be reffing again, and 
I thought he had a I thought he had a reasonable game in a tough tough fixture. I thought the ref had a reasonable game, but he's got some major 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 decisions wrong against us today. Good for Harbour, wrong for us. That would probably give him a hundred out of a hundred score. And we'll probably give him naught. I don't know, but that's you know that's the way the season is. Got to say congratulations to Harbour. Got to say I think I think they're a really good side, but I think we showed today that we're a really good side as well. Obviously, there was no games the last two weeks. You've come back with it with Verve this afternoon. You've yeah. played well as a team collectively. Yeah, I think so, You've yeah. come back three times. That's that's admirable. Um, now you've got to look towards next week. It's going to happen that we're going to absolutely turn over one team here at Steel Park, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we are, aren't we? we? We are. You can't... Listen, you can't You can't go to Cowles and win 6-0, Gresley win 6-0, uh, rugby and go beat Spol in the way and... We took points off Anstey and, you know, we was we should have got something from today's game. You know, the top echelons of the league, we're, we're mixing it with them really well. But again, down to me and the players, we've got to do better in games where we are favourites and we've got to impose ourselves and we've got to be more patient with the ball like we was today. I thought the ball, ball mm. retention was really good today. And, you know, you need a little bit of luck, you need a decision, etc., etc. but... I don't want to take anything away from the visitors today. They've, they've come here and scored four goals. And, you know, if you do that, you probably deserve to win the game. And like I say, that's that's just a, that's just a tough... I've said it a few times, that's a tough one to take. But, you know, that's a... I just feel for my players tonight because I think them and the seven... Well, there were 750 here. I don't know how many harbours was there, but it didn't seem like there was too many. But the 650-odd Corby fans, result... Oh, apart from the result, I've got to be really happy with the effort and the desire of the, the team today, some of the football we played and the three goals we scored. So we scored three good goals as well. So there you go. That's football. That's a that's another horrible week for me leading up to Christmas because I'm desperate to do well here. Um, I'm desperate for the lads to do well. I know the character of a lot of the lads and yeah, that's just... That's just a job to keep, keep picking them up when we can't control the controllable like we did today. Gary, all starts again next Saturday. Yeah. Back here for Boldmere St. Michael's. But thanks today for your attention and yeah. your time. Thank you.